Saturday night to eat, drink, and breathe Jesus. Hallelujah. The singing is so wonderful. Well, tonight we come to the matter of the blood and the water. This is a wonderful topic. Um, it's very important because if we were to summarize what Christ accomplished on the cross, one way we can summarize it is by saying blood and water. All that Christ accomplished are encompassed within this one phrase, blood and water. Can you please read with me the first verse of the sheet? John 19, 34. Let's read it together. But a blood of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and immediately he out blood and water. Hallelujah. We really need to remember that it's blood and water. And I'll say this again repeatedly. You'll probably be sick of hearing me say this phrase. Blood and water. Amen. Hallelujah. So in a quick way, uh, I'd like to cover the significance of the blood and of the water. The blood symbolizes redemption, forgiveness of sins. Right? We see uh, many, many verses. I'm sure you all are familiar with many. Uh, I pull out one. Ephesians 4, 18. In whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of offenses. Hallelujah. The water symbolizes life. The life of God. Amen. Not just any life, but the life of God. Amen. Uh, another verse for this. Revelation 22, 17. Take freely the water of life. Amen. So with the blood, we see redemption and forgiveness of sins. With the water, we see the life of God. Amen. Amen. You know, without the blood, there's no access. We have no access to the water. So if we feel if we feel dirty, we can just come to the Lord and ask Him to shine on us. I really appreciate that. Like spending time with the Lord, Lord, just shine on me. And, uh, and then we can just confess our sins. And then we can come and take a big drink. Amen. And then we can call upon his name. Because yeah, his deeds known among his blood. Yeah. All the way from the blood and the water. Uh, yeah. Yeah. In our Christian experience, we should have an even balance between the blood and the water. Yeah. And with the blood, you know, it's for uh, forgiveness of sins, right? I just enjoy that we should set aside a time. We should have like, a thorough confession with our hearts, um, you know, uh, toward the Lord. It's like, oh, with a repentant heart. But uh, we just don't stop there, right? Uh, you know, God's uh, original intention is to fill us with all of that, with the blood and curse away for, him, for Himself to flow into us. Amen. And I just enjoy, uh, you know, the first John 7, 37. If anyone thirsts, Amen. come to me and drink. Amen. And I just enjoy the Lord who just wants to fill us. Amen. Not only do we get satisfied, but the Lord gets satisfied. Amen. Amen. Your sins have been forgiven. 
The weight has been lifted, but yet, there's no joy, there's no peace, there's no satisfaction. What you need is to drink Amen. of the water of life. Amen. We can't eat like one for the other. We need both in our spirits. Amen. Unless we experience the blood, there can be no water. We have no access. God can't give it to us. Unless we drink the water, God's desire is not fulfilled. We saw that he was crying, uh, shouting, come, everyone who's thirsty, come, all who will, come. How sad it would be if nobody came. <laughs> God is saying, come, but nobody comes. Just cleansed ones, just forgiven ones, but no one comes to him to drink. That, I think that's a sad thing, you know? I think tonight we are all exercising to come to him, Amen. to drink from him. Amen. That's what he wants. That's what satisfies him, and that's what satisfies us. Amen. The Christian life is not a poor life. So this is just one last point. The Christian life is not a poor, a poor life. Although, outwardly, in terms of material things, it may be. But inwardly, <laughs> subjectively, that's where the reality is, right? Money cannot buy satisfaction. Money cannot buy peace. Money cannot buy rest, joy. The Christian life is one that should be full of joy, full of rest, full of satisfaction. In order to have such a, a Christian life, we need the blood and the water. Right? Hallelujah. If we really take this word to heart, then our experience of God's salvation will be full. Not one-sided, not partial, but will be full. Getting a picture of what God's view is, right? How you know, God's view of the woman at the well, or even in John 7 with all those who were feasting. How he just realized how a man is just so thirsty, how a man just has a need for satisfaction. And we just try to fill ourselves up with so much, but God's just there waiting to guide us to springs of waters of life. Amen. So hallelujah. We can enjoy this, but we can also share this with others. When we come to the water, right, just like the woman at the well, when we come to the water, this water is what really satisfies us. And so, so we have the blood even ushering us to the water, and then we're satisfied. So praise the Lord for the blood and the water.